Hi guys, Omar with Overlanding Just Cause and in this video, I'm gonna go over a walk around. I, this is take two. She was just, you know, listening to me record and she's like, um, you're not recording. So I went on a 10 minute spiel, all for practice. Anyway, so this is what I wanna do. Just a quick walk around of the uh, GX. Uh, quick history behind it, 2017 premium model. Uh, has the bucket seats in the back and it's yeah all the little bells and whistles but I inherited this from my wife uh, we bought it for her about a year and a half ago ish and she had canceled her order for the Bronco long story short she ended up wanting the Bronco because it they sent her pictures that it was done finally and so I told her I'm keeping this bad boy and since then obviously I got it wrapped and done some things. So we'll talk about all those things as we uh, move along. So let's go ahead and get to it. She really wants to be in all this. She wants, she wants to be my camera girl, but if she was, this is what you would see. And I'm like, no, anyway. All right, so let's start up at the front. I've got Garage Alpha Off-Road uh, TRD style grill, really like it. I actually, I love it. I love the look. It makes it stand out, makes it look different. Purely aesthetics, right? It's it, just because I have the TRD Pro doesn't make it a better off-roader. It's not like wearing Jordans where you wear Jordans and all of a sudden you play basketball a little bit better. But yeah, purely aesthetics. Uh, the bad thing about this is that it came for an OEM bumper. So as soon as I got this brand new out of the box, I had to cut it to fit the CBI bumper. Now, the CBI bumper, uh, I love the look of it and it's doing what it's supposed to do, give it high clearance, covert, makes it look OEM style. But it wouldn't have been my first choice. Again, when we, when we purchased the bumper, it was my wife's and that's the one that she liked. If I were to do it all over again, I would have chosen the ARB front bumper just because it has the bull bar and I like that protection to the front since the nose really sticks out. But, well, you know, um, I'm not gonna buy another one, so this is what I have here. Continuing on with the front, I have the Smitty Built 12,000 uh, pound wireless uh, winch, and it's the same one that I have in the Beast over there. Oh. Uh, Underneath, I have RCI engine skid plate. I plan on, you know, little by little finishing that off, but eventually the hole underneath I want protected. Right here, I've got aux beam, four inch amber lights. I really like them and they've been on for, I would say maybe five, six months and no condensation, which is, so important right obviously you get what you pay for and with the commander i went the night light route cheap cheaper on amazon and uh a lot of condensation i've been trying to write the company and see if i can get some new stuff along with their switch panel which on the commander is broken so with the GX, I decided to go aux beam, aux beam switch panels. I'm going to go aux beam lights. I've gotten these pretty much as a trial just to see how, you know, how long. And again, no condensation. Now, like I mentioned, I had to do some cut cutting with the grill. I also had to do some cutting to get these lights in here. So right off the bat, brand new grill and I'm cutting it up. But I think it came out fairly well. I kind of did my own little mounts in there and uh, turned out well. I like it. I like the whole low profile look and it just looks like it's, you know, like it's supposed to come like this. I didn't want anything really sticking out. So, all right, uh, since we're up here, let's go ahead and take a look under the hood. Say hi, Athena. Under the hood, you can see the, the, the little additions here. So I've got the Oxme switch panel. Initially, when I first installed it, I had it here, knowing that I would have to get the, or that I wanted to get the ARB twin compressor. 
Um, got the Ragu or Rago fabrication mount. And this was a video on its own. So was this. So check that out if you want to see my, my struggles with the uh, twin air compressor. Kind of mounted it. I put a little addition using some aluminum plates to hold the switch panel here. Now, as far as the ARB twin compressor, I relocated the chuck. The chuck was here. And I made a video on this, on this addition. Uh, but I've got an elbow from Lowe's. I've got a hose from Amazon. And I relocated the chuck to go all the way up to the front. So now my chuck is here. I don't have to open up the hood to air up, but I think it looks, again, pretty good. Very incognito. And it just looks like it's part of the grill. Last thing about the engine bay is I added some power going to the rear of the GX. So I've got two gauge wire, positive and negative, and I have this 150 uh, amp fuse and it ends up here which connects to the trailer to give power to the or the auxiliary better let's talk about the uh the lift and the rims so with the lift i went with a three and a half inch uh toy tech lift it's a boss 2.5 aluminum and uh yeah it's been working great for me i got spc uh, upper control arms and can't say enough about it it's doing the job i got uh, hd springs in the back from toy tech because i knew i wanted to add some weight with eventually a tire carrier and um so that's to come also as far as the rims and tires 285 7017s they're on uh, black rhino i believe these are called the glamour rims is the name of the model but uh fake bead lock but it does have the off-road lip these tires have been awesome I, they're falcon wild peaks uh all-terrain tires and the same ones that i'm running on the commander and the same ones that i've ran on my other vehicles in the past so this is my go-to um as far as price wise they don't break the bank they're reliable they last a long time and off-road they, they do the job and they're really good on snow even though we haven't had snow here in Virginia in the last couple years more protection RCI skid plates I opted for the 45 degree I just like the look and I opted not to get the plate over it so I just like this bare minimalist type of look here Moving on to the wrap. I got the wrap done maybe six months ago. It still looks amazing. Um, I had to redo a couple parts. Initially when I got it wrapped, this color right here is called Argenic uh, Satin Gray. And initially when I got it wrapped, I had the, the side view mirrors in the same color. And I also had uh, the top part of the door handles the same color this portion right here sticking out um, my wife did set in black but what ended up happening is that this and that did not stick with this paper or with this wrap so when i took it back he ended up having to use a different company's satin black um, so I don't know what the deal was, maybe too much curve or whatever the case is, but the Argenic Satin Gray has stuck well. The only thing I paid for as far as getting wrapped was the body itself. The company wanted to charge extra to delete the chrome. So all of this was chrome, including the window seals here. My wife did that. Uh, we ended up getting some satin black from Amazon 3M so pretty decent stuff and she did a really good job with this part 
this part, the window seals, and she even wrapped the headlights. Headlights were pretty hard. You can see there's some little rookie mistakes here and there, but overall it looks really good. Same thing down here. She was super frustrated. She's like, yeah, you know, I'm pretty good with arts and crafts. Give me a shot. And I'm like, yeah, sure, go ahead. And uh, a couple hours into it, a couple days into it, she's cursing and not liking me for making her do it. I didn't make her do it. She volunteered. This, this right here and this portion of the chrome was all uh, hyper dip. Now, the emblem turned out great. You can see a couple chips here. But this bigger piece, it's starting to chip a little bit. It's not horrible, but you can still, I mean, if you look closely, you can see it from a distance, you're good. The last thing I'll say about the wrap is that, you know, it's supposed to last seven to 10 years, um, especially if it's garage kept. Mine is not garage kept, but I do take care of it, um, you know, clean it and check over it and things like that. Uh, Jack over at Magna Color in Newport News said, hey, if anything goes wrong, you know, just let me know and uh, they'll, they'll hook me up. They'll fix it right away. Again, tinted by the wife. And then this, the rear OEM tail lights were also tinted, but they were a super pain and they were peeling back. So in a crunch, I got on Amazon, did a little research, and this particular set of tail lights were open box and I decided to take my chances and I bought it for like half off what they originally are. The only damage because they were open box was this right here. So for half off I got these tail lights and I think they look amazing make it really you know stand out and yeah I uh, I'm all about it. Moving in to the interior, there's only two things that I have done is number one, the Oxbeam switch panel. I actually got this mount on Etsy and it just hooks here. You pop this open, it hooks to this portion and then you pop the, uh, the centerpiece back in. But Holds it there, it's nice and sturdy and uh, out of the way. The only thing I will say is that at night I'm driving, this is lit up even though I have it set at its lowest possible settings. Um, it does, it is pretty bright and I can definitely see it. The only other addition to the interior other than this Oxbeam switch panel is my We The People holster uh, gun mount from my 43X. It's um, inside a waistband holster, but it has the mount right in there. So I just hook it up. And to me, it's pretty sweet. If something were to happen, I can reach in. I can grab it with my right hand. I'm a lefty, so I would have to cross draw when I pull it out. There's someone in the passenger seat, obviously. Make sure I don't muzzle them. Easy access, out of the way. No one can see it from the outside except if they watch this video and now they know where it's at. I'm kidding. You probably recognize the dog barrier and this piece right here I added, I got it off Amazon. It's you know supposed to be molly, but it's not metal. It's like a hard, hard plastic. Since this is now the troop carrier, when we go overlanding, taking the trailer, dogs are gonna go back here, so this is the setup, it's on there pretty steady. Uh, what I ended up doing was putting, uh, I don't know if you can see, a couple L brackets there. There's an L bracket on this hard plastic at the bottom. I'll show you when I get to the back. But this, it's on pretty steady. Dogs can't get through it. A couple L brackets, a couple of hooks. And what I like about the setup is I can easily take it off. Like this is just here. There's pressure from it being here instead of on the other side. I've got these little straps going around the headrest. And that's it. Something quick and simple, 
easy to put on, easy to take off um, if I ever needed to use the third row seat. As far as back here goes, I have my little tire go bag, first aid kit. There's also a first aid kit there, but I've got the tire repair kit. I've got the Gulu battery starter, and then I've got the, the hose for the air compressor along with the gauge here. Digital gauge tells me I can even air, air down using it. So that's pretty cool. Got it off Amazon. Um, also off Amazon, I've got this protection here. The only thing I had before was this carpet, Lexus OEM carpet. And it was, you know, I mean, it, it will do, but when I have the dogs back here, so much hair and dirt that accumulates that I decided to get this. This is also from the back of the commander. Um, now the dogs will get back here. Plenty of space for them. Obviously, when the dogs are back here, this is moved to the front. Eventually, I am going to put a table here. Whether it's a DIY or I buy one, more than likely DIY. I've seen a couple of videos and I really like their, their uh, ideas. And I think I'm going to follow suit and, you know, make it my own. All right. And then the last thing, and I like sending me all weather mats for the front and the rear, second row. And then I had to do my own thing for the third row, which what I ended up doing was there, the mat, the mat that was in the back of the commander, I took and I made into one piece, a T. Um, so now it slides under there, slides under there. I kind of took the dimensions, cut around. It turned out pretty nice. What I do like about the night light weather uh, mats is that they are huge. They're probably twice the size of the OEM mats. So they do cover a lot of space and it fits well. What I plan on doing next is, I ended up calling JW Off-Road and what I wanna do is get a tire carrier, not the one that hooks up to the door. Um, I want their newer version that is bolted to the bottom it comes out and it's a dual swing out there's a connection here there's one that goes on this side that would be for uh, maybe gas or water but you can do it the, the single swing out or you can do the dual swing out they both connect to something that is bolted to factory uh, points and yeah I, I'm that's what I'm, I'm liking Every time I've checked JW Off-Road, it's saying that it's sold out. So I ended up calling the company. I spoke to Josh himself, the owner of JW Off-Road. And he's going to send me an email in a couple weeks when the orders are, when he's gonna set up new orders. So I'm excited about that. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions about anything that you saw on this video, do not hesitate to put it in the comments. And now I'll answer them fairly quickly. So guys, I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.